So a little controversy, irresistible, bitch I'm worldwide, certified with that party vibe California sunshine, rip the west side But it don't matter where you're from when it's party time Everybody all together now to the ride We're back at Got Beef, a day to remember. On my left hand side, we got Devastator. Make some noise for you. Yeah! Say your piece, say your piece. You got something cool to say? Fuck you! <laughs> awesome. And on my right hand side, we got David Kinch. Make some noise for David Kinch, yeah! ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! All the way from Canada, man. All I'm a really big fucking deal. People line up to see me and shit, and I fucked this guy's mom a couple times. That's good. That is true. That may or may not have happened. Yeah. Right, 60 seconds on David Stater. David Kinch was made a bitch at the age of six. His facial lips are made to fit the hole that goes where his anus is. It's blatant this racist bitch, David Kinch, hates his kids because they hang out where the Asians live. <laughs> He's so racist, he hates any movie by the Whalen Twins. <laughs> He's so stupid, he thought he got a record deal on some major shit. But it turns out he was so useless, he got paid to quit. He's so skinny, if you weigh him, it's the same as six baby fish. Woo. I hope you die, David Kinch. <laughs> <laughs> on May the 5th. <laughs> I'll make a song called I'm glad you're gone, go to your funeral and play that shit. <laughs> In front of your mom and your neighbor's kids. <laughs> because you remind me of Taylor Swift. <laughs> so this is what a Canadian sailor is. <laughs> and the result of a baby born on a Navy ship. Fire! Oh, right, make some noise! Yeah. Get that first round on David Kinch. Way to rhyme a bunch of shit with my name, by the way. <laughs> you ain't getting a win out me, bitch. No matter how loud you get or how many freestyles you spit, you big, fat, sweaty, sheep fucking pile of shit. <laughs> you might yell and swear and shit, but you don't scare me, bitch. It's like you ain't so tough. Um, you ain't a lyricist, you need a therapist. Get out of my face and grow up. But when y'all hear the shit about how queer he is, I mean, you'll straight throw up. He's drank so much beer and jizz that that beer to his looks like a glazed donut. <laughs> and I fucked his mom, right? Like I said. <laughs> a bitch got a cunt that's shaped like your head is. I heard she likes jewelry, so I ejaculated a necklace. I woke up before she did, but I ain't making an exit. That bitch left me impatient and restless. Bitch had the nerve to make me wait for my breakfast. So I slapped her across her face and her left tit, and I said, get the fuck in the kitchen, go and make me some eggs, bitch. <laughs> Time! All right, make some noise! Watch, watch what is. Second yeah. round on Devastator. Of course my mum left you waiting for a breakfast. That's some raw fathom. She only did that because you left her waiting for an orgasm. I smoked a joint with him. First thing I said to him, I hate your blunt. How the fuck did you have sex with my mum when she raped you, cunt? Yeah, that's right, I'm fucking fat. You're fucking whack and you are the definition of useless, toothpick. Look at... 
Yeah, look at DK. How much does he weigh? Less than a child? Yo, you don't want to mess with his style. Look at the fucking color of his skin. It resembles a wedding dress, spaghetti legs. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I've got the raw wrap. I saw you bend down to pick your drink up. Did you get a saw back? <laughs> Similar to the fucking ass crack your boyfriend gave you. Thumbs up, you dumb cunt. <laughs> Damn! Let's go! Oh Next round on David Kinch, man. You ain't devastating the shit. Except for when you're raping your kids. Thinking you a heavyweight in this bitch just because of that extra weight in your tits. You'll never guess I made you a gift. It was a brassiere that was special made just to fit so your back don't get all stretched and strained when you sit. You might yell getting all angry and shit, but he's never aiming a fist. You just pretend like we're fighting on some WrestleMania shit. You're all bark and you're no bite. You're all spark and there's no light. I mean, your mouth pop off, but you won't fight. You've been all talk, but your whole life. And he liked it. Um, you try to make up for your lack of creativity with aggression and passion. But when you do that shit, what eventually happens is the more that you scream shit, the less that you're rapping. Ooh. So go ahead, call me a racist just like you do. Cause I fucking hate Kiwis, man. They put me in a violent mood. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'll murder everyone on the North and the South Island, too. It's a murder fest when I come through. But I ain't racist, Devastator. I'ma murder the white ones, too. Oh. Hey! Let's go. Everybody at the bar, keep it no, down, man. It down. You're not racist? I am white man? <laughs> <laughs> wow! This weak, rude, cheap dude needs food now. <laughs> he was in love with this chick, but she didn't love him. So when they broke up, it was like a feather landing on his head. It crushed him. Oh. <laughs> oh, I heard you're moldy too. Nah, you don't look moldy, dude. You're probably oh. Jew. You know what Canadians are? What? The first people to run from a fight in an Australian bar. Oh. <laughs> What else? <laughs> Talk to him. Showing up to a battle with a t-shirt that has a Rubik's Cube makes you the rudest dude. <laughs> you want some more cock? Go to a strip house, get some more twats, because I can't tell if that's you or an astronaut on your top. Oh. <laughs> Fucking monkey, you're ugly. <laughs> get the fuck out of this ain't my country. <laughs> Last round on Kinch. Right. Look at that wide girth. Fuck you in the parachute store you go to when you buy shirts. You get bacon grease in your sideburns. And I'm pretty sure you fucked your mom's pussy up in childbirth. No, picture his mom in labor just like sweating hardcore like, give me the drugs, you've had the drugs. Well, fuck it, I want more. I'm giving birth to a caveman Yeti, God damn it, my twat's sore. After Deb walked out, that pussy looked like a garage door. Oh. <laughs> Open up shop for David Kinch. You left that skanky bitch with devastated lips. I mean, they hang and twist and sag and shit. And when I get that bitch wet, her motherfucking ankles drip. <laughs> That's enough about his mom's pussy. <laughs> Back to his mom's pussy. <laughs> I seen three drunk white boys smoke crack in your mom's pussy. Cody Bryan and motherfucking Shaq's in your mom's pussy. Yeah, that's in your mom's pussy. I don't want to battle this large rookie. I'd be more shook if I had to battle his mom's pussy. Time! Time. Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen. We've got David Kinch and Devastator. Yeah. Hey. Oh, Alright, now we're gonna go to the judges. We're back here at Got Beef, a day to remember. Sydney, let everybody know you're here. Make some noise! Looks yeah. like enough! The judges have made a decision, but before I reveal their decision, follow at Got Beef Tweets on Twitter, at Call Me Decoy on Twitter. I believe you're on Twitter too, right? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> I won't plug it because who cares? At Kim Kardashian. <laughs> so that's who that was. Anyway, judges' decision two to one. Devastator, make some noise! <laughs> What's up? It's Chelsea Jane. I'm gonna give that to Devastator. I thought he took two rounds and David took one. I just think Devastator was more entertaining. So yeah, two one, Devastator. 
Dave, you see up in this. I'm going to break it down um, in a bit of detail, actually. Like, I think it's an interesting clash of styles. Like, what Devastator came with is, like, the typical Devastator clowning sort of shit, you know, calling him a racist, like, you know, sort of that freestyle um, sort of approach, which, which works, I guess, for me, which... And it's, look, it's a subjective judgment at the end of the day. Like, I've seen the same from Devastator in almost every battle is done. For me, it's wearing off. I think some of his flips are good and relevant. I think some of them are pretty silly. Um, I thought his third round was average. I thought David Kinch's first round was pretty crap, like, by how dope I know he can be from watching some of his pros. Um, I like the glazed donut bar. As I said, he fell off in the first. Um, he had definitely had better structures in the second round with the, uh, the like, the garage door that came with the third with that ankle strip shit. I thought he constructed his bars better. That's me. Like, I thought he outwrapped Devastator in the second two rounds. Probably had more punches and was more consistent, so I gave it two rounds to one to David Kinch. No, I, um, I felt Devs had it in the first and in the second, then Dave came in the third. I really felt that Devs had the first and second locked down, man. A lot more relevant bars, kept it hard. And then Dave came out of nowhere, boom, smashed him. Uh, real tough one, man. But I'm going to have to give it to Devs just because he was way more consistent. He fell off towards the end, but relevant bars held it hard, man. Thank you.